Charles Blondin, he was one of the greatest tightrope walkers in the history of the world. And one of his greatest feats was walking the, the Niagara Falls on a tightrope, 11,000 feet long, 160 feet above the water. And this he accomplished a number of times and, and always with different theatric variations. Blindfolded, in a sack, pushing a wheelbarrow, on stilts, carrying a man on his back, and sitting down one time midway while he made an egg, an omelet. And one day after he had pushed a wheelbarrow across the, the Niagara Falls and come back on that tightrope, he asked a question. How many of you believe that I could put a person in this wheelbarrow and push him across the tightrope? And everybody cheered and yelled and screamed and everybody believed. And then he asked for a volunteer. And the crowd grew very, very quiet until one man stepped out of the crowd and got in the wheelbarrow. There's a difference between the crowd and the man in the wheelbarrow. In regards to God, where are you? In the crowd? Say, oh, I believe there's a God. I believe Jesus Christ died for the sins of the world. I believe there's a new world coming. Or are you in the wheelbarrow? You know, it doesn't really make much difference when you're standing on shore. It makes a lot of difference halfway across the tightrope. And in our everyday experiences, in our life, in our choices, in our, our waking up, going through our days, and going back to bed, we can play it safe. We can stay in the boat. We can maintain our comfort zone. Or we can walk on the water with Jesus. But if you want to walk on the water, you've got to get out of the boat. What do you think about? What are you connected to? What's driving you? What's motivating you? What makes you make the choices you make? Who is most important in your life? Not in your words, not out of your mouth, but out of your life.